Okay guys, this lady gets iguanas in the attic. You're not gonna believe this. Well, look at that. Look at him over there. He's got his head shoved under the wood and his tail hanging down. And if you look, there's a second one right there on the left. Two iguanas. If you ask me, I think the one on the left is a spiny tail and I think the one on the right is a green, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna go in and see um, about getting them. I actually am wearing gloves, which is a rarity. We're gonna see if we can grab them. Jermaine's gonna film. Here, over to where the lizards live. There's nowhere to get through. Be careful where you stab. I don't think I need to say that, but. There's three. There's freaking three. Oh my god, give me the phone. And there's three iguanas. I can't reach that far. I don't want to fall off this ladder. That's the female. She ran to the end. Okay, we're gonna try and get this guy right here. I just need somewhere to sit. Like this. Oh. You see all the poop from them hanging out up here. Back there. All right. I don't know how you're supposed to squeeze down there. Got you, attic spiny tail. So we got one boy out of there, and there's two more. There's a big boy down here that's looking at me. Not sure where he's at at the moment. And there's a female on that end. All right, babe, I'm going to hand you this. Actually, before I hand you this fine tail, let me look and see if I can do anything. Okay, guys. 
day two and he's back looking for the female she was down at that bottom part yesterday let's go see if we can get him before he knows what's up they're, are they they're doing the same as that the male is but i don't see the girl be careful because you might stumble upon i don't want him to come back at me He's a big boy. Last night the flashlight went out on me while I was up here. I was in the dark with these big boys. Is that the girl? I think she's down there, right there. Behind that piece of wood, right back there, you can see a lump. Let's go see him. Okay, here we are. He just turned around, he's looking at us. Hey, can you cut the lights, Jermaine? Barely fitting in here, guys. Let's see if we can get closer to him. We're gonna set up a couple glue traps. The lizard is about four feet away from me in the attic right here. Let's see if we can't snag him. He's pretty big, he could give me stitches. Okay guys, this is the plan. We're gonna put down glue traps and then we're just gonna reach for him and see if we can't grab him. And if we miss, we're hoping he'll run and get caught up on the glue traps so we're gonna have to grab him quickly. Jumped. He jumped when I moved. Okay. Okay, guys, here's our setup. We got one glue trap there, three there, because that's the way he went last time. Here's the spiny tail. About to try to go for the leg. The problem is he's big enough to swing around and still bite me on the arm. I do kind of wish I had the towel now. He's really big. Oh, the towel? Yeah. Yeah, go grab it. want to poop there's another hole they get in back there, there that's go. why there's so much poop back or me doing it Come on. I'm way back here. I know let me sit here all right I hope they can see even if not I'm about to get this freaking iguana here we go iguana. get you back oh he better not bite me better not bite me I've got him by the aunt leg. <clears throat> oh, he's so freaking strong. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. 
we go. Boy, <clears throat> mad. <laughs> Got you, spiny tail. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if I can't turn the camera around. We got him. Got you, spiny tail. This is the big boy that lives in this part of the wall. There's still a missing female. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get her in just a minute. Got you, spiny tail. I was walking past this bush and I was thinking, that's a lot of bird poop on that tree. And then I realized it's not bird poop. These are swallowtail butterfly caterpillars. And they're supposed to look like bird poop. Look at him eating the leaf, looking like a turd. Look at this. They're even glossy like they're fresh bird poop. This is ridiculous. So this is some sort of citrus plant. I don't know if it's a lime or an orange or a lemon, but um, it's a favorite of theirs. And clearly the butterflies found it. And there's even little baby ones on here. Look at that. Okay guys, I'm on this roof and uh, just did raccoon removal, but I realized it's a female. I'm pretty sure she has babies. And I think they're under here. They're right here. That's a baby raccoon right there. I found a baby raccoon. Let's see if we can get them out. Without me sliding off, I'm on like a giant slip and slide of a roof. Okay. Here we go. Make sure they're not big enough to fuck me up. <gasps> Look! We found them. Baby raccoon number one. Hey little buddy. Hang out right here. He's probably not alone. Here we go. Baby raccoon number two. Hey. Okay, we got two. Two baby raccoons. Is there anybody else? Sometimes they have four or five. She has a nest right here for him. No sliding. You heard him? Look. All right, we're gonna get him out of here. Got you, raccoon. Okay, guys, so oh. I just got down off the roof. A neighbor actually helped me so I wouldn't slide down and drop the babies. We got two little baby raccoons. One is a little darker and black right here. And they're just a growling and a grunting and making all kinds of noise. So, <laughs> like that. <laughs> he mad. So, we're going to get him. I don't want to get bit by a raccoon. So, we're going to get them into a box. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, put them over to the South Florida Wildlife Center. They take animals like this. We'll give them a donation so they can afford to feed them. And we're going to get them taken care of. Okay. Got you, raccoon. Oh. 
All right, guys, I'm at the South Florida Wildlife Rehabilitation Center. It's right by the Fort Lauderdale Airport. You can hear the planes. And I have my primal gun gear bag because not only does it normally protect my um, air tank by my Omega air tank, which um, it definitely has protected it when it's maybe fallen out the truck before, but uh, it's perfect for keeping baby raccoons because it has this little mesh end. So I've been able to keep them safe in there. They're actually sleeping down in there if you can see them. And so um, they're balled up in my other shirt and we're gonna go see if we can get these guys something to eat and taken care of. And we're gonna make a donation because you don't drop off wildlife without making a donation because it costs money to keep them alive. Got you baby raccoon. There was an iguana going in this vent, so I added glue traps, came back today, bam, got you iguana, what you think about that, got gotcha. you, air conditioner iguana. Hey guys, I'm on the roof of the place that had an iguana in the AC set up, and I think that they got in this contraption right here. Um, the sun's going down on me, but it appears that uh, these branches come right over, and I think an iguana would walk this and sit up here. I'm not sure if they can enter the AC system through this. Maybe y'all know better about what this thing is. Let's see if I can get it to focus. But, um... It seems to go to the air system. It's also connected to a second piece over here that's very similar. Um, looks like a damn metal mushroom on the roof. I have no idea what to think of that. Maybe that's for the cooking system, but I think this is maybe an outlet also for the cooking. I don't know. Um, I also found a hole over here that the iguanas uh, could be going in or likely are going in. It's right here. Um, oftentimes animals go in these gables, so if you think an animal's in your house, in the attic, you can always check under those uh, gables of your roof, and a lot of times that's the entry point right there, especially for raccoons. Especially for raccoons. All right, got you iguana. We're going to go see if we can fill in this hole right here for them and fix it all up. Got you iguana. Nasty mole cricket. Good fishing bait. Mole cricket. Yeah. Holy cow, look at the size of this spiny tree. The, the, the news keeps shutting. She is a colossal. It looks like a statue over there. Right. Right. For it. Ready? Yeah, yeah. He didn't snap this pole. Maybe. I'm gonna try to keep it from happening. Wanna grab that? He doesn't trust it at all. No. Just don't fight him. Look at that mouth. Pardon me, just don't bite me. Ha, 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 just oh, don't let me bite step me. on it. <laughs> he is big. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, a little bit. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Got him. Uh, you can't get silly. Ooh. Yeah, the defender said he'll take yeah. your whole finger off. But these eat meat too, so you see yeah. the teeth on him? He's They'll get different. him stitches. We would have had to go to the hospital. He'll, he'll take your finger. Oh, she has some, 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 like she's hurt? Like serrated they, teeth. They are uh, just, when they're biting around, sometimes they break the skin around their mouth. Wow. Yeah, He's I fine. see it. I see it. He's fine, I promise. I see it. <laughs> it's like a bird bee. <laughs> the green feels really good. The green one, no? I am so impressed. You did not break the pole. 
go. Just get him off because we got the green one over there. Watch the green. Is it still there? Oh, I moved down. It's by the block. See it? Yes. Me, watch. Yeah, he uh, was on top of the wood and was one that um they all clearly know. He uh, was almost hand grabbable a minute ago, but he would swat his tail at you. You could tell he lives here and everybody's used to uh, passing by him and he's used to being passed by. So when you reach out and grab him, he gets real mad. Before I go to the green one, right here on top of the pallet. He's looking. He's dodging. Yeah, I know. I can see him now. He went to the back. Right green one there's a good size female spiny underneath all this wood right now so we'll set up a trap for her and I saw a green right over there so we're gonna go check that metal in just a second awesome. see I'm not gonna let her go huh I'm she not gonna let, let you go. take her oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> trying to pull these spiny tails out the trap and they are attacking each other there were three in one trap we just got the big male out and the other male has bit the female on the face here and won't let go. I'm going to have to pull them both out attached to each other. Y'all, look at these freaking spiny tails. They will not let go of each other. They're like a freaking puzzle where one fits in the other one. He's, she has him in the eye right there. And this is the male on top. He has her on the face. Maybe caught her back eye too. Look at that. Right here by the train tracks. Or the train. <laughs> 